just uh, give that a tap on, please? Um, who's going to be asking the questions? I can't just have everyone firing questions at me. You oh, sorry, Ralph. Yeah, it would be me. So, Ralph, um, just give us a bit of background on yourself. Yeah, my name's Ralph Lowe. For the last three years and 11 months on Friday, uh, I've been uh, exploring and, and researching government, corporate and military conspiracies. So you're a conspiracy theorist? Well, um, they're not theories, but yes, they're, they're facts. Right, right. So it is 2.30 a.m. and I just got a call from Ralph and he's saying that um, there's something we need to see right now. Um, so I'm going to call Kapral and um, head over. Hey, I'm making a documentary, mate. When did all this begin for you? Uh, <clears throat> well, it was in the last year of the Navy. Um, yeah, there was some there was some strange things happening. Um, the leadership were being very secretive, and um, I and three people went missing. Um, two people got dismissed for undisclosed reasons um, for questioning the the leadership. Um, they started changing our diets, and, and people getting headaches and and sick. And I was having blackouts, and I hardly ever have blackouts. So I knew, you know, that's when I started really um, just just researching stuff. And where do you get all your information? I've got I've got three informants here. I've got one informant still in the navy, and yeah. So I also go on what I like to call night stalks. And what are they for? Well, I go out in the night and I wear disguises and I do surveillance and I also interview different people. Some sometimes they they don't know that they're being interviewed by me because of my disguises. Stella, how long have you been with Ralph? Ralph and I have been together five years now. Ralph, I make dinner. How far does Ralph's research go? You were there on our date. Run, Stella! I acquired a lot of really useful information on that on that night. Recording? Yep. Quickly, come in. Where's the rest of you? It's just us. Can we turn the lights on, Ralph? No, no, no. Don't touch the lights. We don't want them to hear us. It's all so consuming. I mean, this house used to be filled with all this junk until I made him contain it to one room. For his own safety, you know. You hear about these hoarders getting crushed under their own junk, no one finding them for days on end. I mean, I'm not here all the time. You don't live here with Ralph? Oh, God, no. Things would have to change dramatically before that would happen. What does Stella think of your research? I think she res really respects me, and I think she I think she's proud of me, yeah, of the work that I do. Do you think Ralph's theories have any credibility? Have you heard them? Have a look over here. If you look at the, if you look at the, uh, the molecular structure of the AIDS virus, we know that that's a man-made virus. English whistleblower, pharmaceutical whistleblower, Andrew Weichel, missing since July. Why is he missing? He reported just before he went missing that, that strange birds were watching him. They're doing surveillance. You know the... You know the, um, the um, the bug zappers at night, you know how sometimes some just don't go for it. You have it on all night and, and half of them get away. Because you can hear, you can hear there's, there's the, the tone of the flies, you can hear the mosquitoes are higher, but there's a dull buzz between. You know what, that's the government drones. They're, they're smaller than flies and they're watching everything that we're doing. Come on, come through. Yeah, so I was, I was asleep and I, and I woke up because I heard that the, that the perimeter alarm had been breached. And come and look at this, I knew there was someone, something there. Just See, it's, it's just like I was telling you, they're watching the place. And 9-11, and, and huh, what about the third tower? And but Bin Laden's not dead. Do you think that was him? These, these three volunteers, they're not helping. Look at this, look at this from 2012. This, this aerial shot here, compare that to the 2011 one. There's, there's like whole sections of, of uh, 
that are missing. Where are they? That's all because of the underground bunkers. They've been doctored. That's where they're manufacturing oh. the superbugs. Joan Rivers, Whoopi Goldberg, Kevin Bacon, Krispy Kreme, everyone's in on it. Ralph, don't you think this has gone too far? I know. Look, before, before we know it, we're going to have like teams of agents out there. We're going to oh, no, Ralph, 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 no. You. Don't you think you've gone too far? Haven't you considered all this might just be in your head? You mean this whole time you, you haven't believed a word that I've said? What, what are you doing? You, you, are you filming the freak and then you're laughing behind my back? Well, it, it's too late now. You're, you're involved in this and, and your life's in danger too. Come on, Corral, let's just go. Hey, that's, that's fine if you want to go back to your normal life and pretend that everything's normal, but no, I, I'm not going to stop. They're not going to silence me. Oh, what the heck is... Ah!